여러분. Hey guys. So today I'm gonna show you how I produce my cover of Stay by the Kid Larry and Justin Bieber. It took me about like three weeks to produce the whole cover. This is what I feel really proud of because all I did from this production is basically the result of my self learning of music producing so far. And yeah, because I'm self learning, it might be it might not be perfect and there might be better ways to produce the same sound. So if you guys know the better way or if you think what I do is a little bit wrong or could be better, then just let me know. It might be really really helpful for me. And because this is a whole lot of stuff, I'm not gonna like point out every single detail about it, but just show you the whole like structure and what I have focused on and stuff like that. If you have more questions about how I did those stuff, just let me know in the comments. I'll make some other tutorials for those comments, okay? 더 궁금하신 게 있으면 꼭 댓글에 적어주세요. Alright, so basically when I was producing the whole track, I used the original song, The Stay, as a reference a lot. Basically copied the song, right? But I tried my best to make it sound a little different in my own style, in my own way. So I used different instruments and maybe different rhythm, melody, like that. First of all, the very first thing that I put was this track. So this is Halion Sonic. SE3, which is the virtual instrument that comes with the Cubase, so it's just like built-in instrument. And this sound is called FM bells. It sounds like this. So you know when you hear, when you listen to the stay, there's the keyboard sound that comes at first. Which is coming from the keyboard called Juno, as far as I know. And unfortunately, I don't have that one. <laughs> I didn't know how to make the same sound of the Juno. And also, I didn't want the same sound. I wanted to be a little different. So what I did basically is just look through the whole instruments, whole instruments in Halion Sonic. I just change the instrument and play a little bit until I find the best sound I would like to use. And the FM bells is what I picked as a substitute of the Juno sound. And then also, you know, from the original song, the melody plays like this. But I wanted to make some kind of change. So I made a little bit of arrangement on that melody and it sounds like this. Yeah. And then another sound I added is this one. As you can see, this one is literally a copy of the FM Bell track. Let's listen to this one. Yeah, it's the Pizzicatos. Pizzicat, Pizzicat. How do you pronounce Pizzicato? Pizzicato. 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 Yeah, pizzicato. By the way, the pizzicato is also a sound that I found while I was just looking through the whole sound. And I thought it was super cool. I think it was really good to look through the whole instrumentals because while I was looking through all those instrumentals, I was like inspired by all of those sounds. And when I first heard the pizzicato sound, I thought it was super cool. And I just wanted to put it into the song because I really like the rhythm of this sound. It's like da, 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 do, da, da, da. I decided to put it throughout the whole song actually. And what was really cool is that I literally copied the same MIDI track. Like I played the same MIDI, but it sounds like this. So the MIDI signal is the same as this one. Like I played the same notes but with this instrument, it sounds like this. And I thought it was super cool. So I put 
those together. So at first, it sounds like this. Yeah, and then I decided to add the drums. I'm not proficient at putting the drum patterns yet, but I'm still learning and I figured out that when I heard stay, the drum pattern is like It's like the basic 80s song, you know? That sound. So from what I heard from the stay, the original song, it was just like dun duck dun duck dun duck dun duck just repeat of that, but I added a little bit more rhythm to this, so it sounds like this. So instead of just do tuck do tuck, I did do tuck do tuck do tuck do do tuck like that. So that was the drum I put, and then the next thing I put was the bass. So when you hear the stay from the part where the drum starts, the bass starts at the same time, and if you listen to it closely, you can hear that the bass sounds like bum 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 like that with the drum. So the bass kind of works like a drum. Bass and drum is kind of just like boosting each other. Oh, I literally just almost copied the melody line of the bass, but I just added my little twist, like doo -doo -doo -doo, something like this. But it's almost the same. Like I tried my best to make it sound similar to the original song. So with the drum and the bass together. Yeah, it sounds like this. Then already it's a hit with the FM bell and the pizzicato sound. It's it's a hit. Look, listen to it. Yeah, and then the next thing I did was that You know, in the chorus of the song It should be more than just verse, you know Like it has to be a climax And like, like you have to feel like elevated in the chorus section So you have to put more dramatic and dynamic sound in the chorus and from stay, from what I heard, I heard some synth, really strong synth in the chorus. So I decided to put synth also, and as I said, it's not the exact same sound as the original, but I just found the sound that fits my version, and this was called Compact Pad from Halion Sonic, and it sounds like this. Yeah, I put that in the chorus and there's the second part in the chorus that has a little more variety where I put this instrument called Bells Ensemble. This sounds like this. It's such a beautiful bell sound. I love the sound so much. It sounds like fantasy land or like fairy tale. So the chorus with the bell and the synth, drums and bass and the FM bells and pizzicato, everything on the chorus sounds like this. that and like instrumental wise that's pretty much it it's actually pretty simple well i added another sound which is called vintage strings it's strings but it's like a it's a lower sound it sounds like this
So the reason why I put this is because I heard something similar from the original song on the second verse where Justin Bieber sings There is a sound that was added, something similar to this, so I wanted to do the similar thing. It's not really noticeable, but it makes a difference, I believe. And then uh, the other thing I added was something called beefy synth which happens at the very last chorus because it had to be uh, like super dramatic and the most dynamic. This synth sounds like this. It's a beautiful synth, but I added it, you know, because this is the biggest part of the song and this was where the drop happens and everything. Yeah, so speaking of the drops, that was all of the instrumentals, but now I'm gonna tell you how I did the effects and like reverbs and how I created the drop effect. For me, it was super, super mind blowing because it was my first time actually to control the automation. You know, when you listen to right before the chorus where the I do the same na -na 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 -na, you can hear enormous amount of reverb and the spacious feeling right before the chorus and I wanted to make that happen so bad like I wanted to copy that effect but I didn't know how to do it I knew the concept about automation and everything and I was just searching YouTube how to make stay cover and everything and I saw this guy Drake Merrick he was super helpful I didn't like follow through the whole tutorial of him but I kind of got the idea of how to do the automation and how to make that effect so what I did is automate the reverb for my vocals. So this is the first drop, where the first drop happens, okay? So the reverb starts. Gets bigger. No reverb. Yeah, so the reverb goes up, 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 like here, and then drops right here. And then just adjusting the automation of the reverb is not enough and actually when you listen to the original song really carefully there are additional effects like reversed snares like this yeah yeah so I added that when the reverb drops reverse snare comes with it it's like it's such a good feeling that the whole reverb effect and the reversed snare mix together and it makes that perfect effect of getting all spacious and dramatic and then just closing everything at one moment yeah I did all of those stuff and also what I did was when the song starts and in other parts of the song there's reversed reverb effect of my voice is happening this when the original song starts there's reversed reverb effect and then the Kit Larry's voice kind of like boom hits after the effect I do the same so I wanted to do that because it sounds cool and it, I just thought it's kind of like crucial It just needs that sound The whole point of the song I thought was being dramatic <laughs> And that's what it makes so good Yeah, that's the whole structure of how I made the Kit Lowry and Justin Bieber stay And I'm so proud of it and I hope you guys like the cover I hope this was somehow helpful for you if you have other in-depth questions and if you want to know certain things and how I did something then um, leave those questions in the comments I'll make separate tutorials about it otherwise thank you for watching and I'll definitely come up with other covers and other tutorials so stay tuned and please subscribe and like if you like the video and i'll see you guys in my next 
video 다음 영상에서 만나요. 바이바이.